Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are looking at the engraved equipment, still from the Varmint's Biosphere update. Um, they're not as good, but um, since they're F2P, I figured I'd cover them. First, let's look at the engraved Orleans gown. For crafting materials, you need 100 death runes, 200 brigand, um, 1 Orleans gown, and 3 million zenny. Now this is armor level 2, obviously it's an armor required level 210, uh, 1 slot, and for all classes. Stats wise you get uh, initially 15% VCT reduction which is good, um, no cast interruption so basically a sweet nightmare card already on it without having to use a card, plus 7 you get 50M attack, plus 9 additional 10% VCT reduction, and plus 11 you get 20% uh, uh, fire and neutral poverty magical damage. Now this also combos with the engraved Orleans glove which we'll discuss later. You, you get 1% M attack per 3 refines which is you know not that much but plus 9 you get 10% VCT reduction, plus 11 you get 20% uh, water wind and earth property magical damage and at plus 13 um, the armor, armor cannot be destroyed. Well you know I mean plus 13 it's kind of a stretch. Next, the engraved Orleans server. Um, for crafting materials, you need 50 death runes, um, 200 brigand, 1 Orleans server, and 3 million zenny. Now, same thing, it's also armor level 2, required level 210. It's a shield, obviously, one slot, and for all classes. Initial stats, you get uh, M res plus 2, um, plus 7, you get another 2 M res, 1 SM attack, plus 11, you get 5% M attack, and additional 5% all property magic damage not bad for an uh, well an f2p shield from the magic class this as well combos with the engraved orleans glove you get five percent vct reduction and two sm attack now if the shield is at plus nine you get uh, minus five percent vct reduction and spl plus one not that much if you ask me moving on to the engraved orleans gown for crafting materials you need 100 death runes 200 brigand one orleans glove and 3 million zenny. Now this is an accessory, um, doesn't matter if it's right or left, um, still armor 2, required 210, uh, it's slotted and still for all jobs. And you're basically just getting stats out of this because it combos with both the Orleans gown and the server, you get SPL plus 2, CRT plus 2, and SM attack plus 3. Next the engraved Pingaculus, whatever, corsage, um, crafting materials, you get um, 50 plain rune, you need 50 plain rune, 200 sharp leaf, 1 pingicula corsage, and 1.5 million zenny. Now it's still an accessory, level 2, required level 10, I'm not, sorry, 210, 1 slot, and uh, for all jobs. Stats wise, you get 2 emres, um, you get 7% earth and poison property magical damage. I might actually use this for my uh, killing cloud build for the Shadow Chaser, or the Abyss Chaser. Next, the Engraved Water Drop Brooch. Um, you need 50 Ice Rune, 200 Fluorescent Liquid, one Water Drop Brooch, which is actually dropped from one of the monsters inside the Ice Vormans Biosphere, and uh, 1.5 million Zenny. Still the same accessory, armor level two, yada yada. It's, you know, they're all level, two, two, level 210 required. Now for stats, you get minus 5% damage from water property monsters, 5% HP, 2 MRES, and additional 7% water property magical damage. Moving on, we have the engraved Survivor Mantio, or Survival Mantio as it is in Divine Pride. You need 75 Ice Rune, 5 Ice Scale, which is dropped from um, the Kachilnax MVP, um, 1 Survivor Mantio, non-slotted, and 3 million Zenny. That's a garment, everything else is armor level 2, required 210, whatever. And stats, we're basically just getting basic stuff here. Vit plus 10, con plus 3, HP plus 5%. This also doesn't combo with anything, so um, yeah, I'm not sure if it's worth it. Next, the engraved Naga scale armor. Um, for crafting materials, you need 50 fire runes, 200 scale shell. Uh, one armor of Naga and three million Zenny. Now this is still an armor level armor level two required to ten one slot and for all classes. Now for your stats, this is actually quite interesting. It re you reflect five percent of the melee physical damage, um, not long range or physical damage, just melee physical damage. 
three emres at plus 70 an additional five percent reflex for melee physical damage plus nine you get 10 percent melee physical damage I'm saying melee way too many times plus 11 you get a three percent chance to gain 15 p attack for 15 for sorry for seven seconds when you convert into your naga form this also combos with the engraved naga shield um you get 10 percent melee physical damage which is actually not bad moving on to the engraved naga shield um 50 fire runes 200 scale shell one shield of the naga or naga the oh, whatever uh and uh, three millions any of course it's a shield armor level two whatever they're they're all the same and for initial stats you get three emres one percent um reflect a melee physical damage per refine so it's plus 10 that's 10 percent um ignore five percent physical defense of normal monsters and ignore an additional one percent physical defense of normal monsters per refine this is actually interesting but i'm not sure how good it is compared to the gna stuff and so guys that is it for the engraved gears um that have come out with the varmint's biosphere um, it's quite interesting. Um, you don't have to grade it. It's still, it is armor level 2. And um, apart from the Naga stuff, everything else looks like it's for the Magic class. Although, the Engraved Survivor Mantu, I'm, I'm not too sure about it. Because it doesn't really combo with anything. Um, the stats are pretty mad, to be fair. But, um, you know, like it's, it's, a, it's a nice set to have, probably, if you're running F2P. But... You know, price-wise, you could probably invest in more in OCPs rather than spending the money trying to refine level 2 armors, um, you know, especially trying to get plus 11 or even plus 13 with BSPs, and it gets expensive really quick. So, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys next time.